Hey yo, I'm Ori, and welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to talk about something that many beginner game devs struggle with, and it's something that I personally struggle with for a long time. When starting out in game dev, most people will simply look up how to make blank and go down the rabbit hole from there. And while that's a great starting point, it can lead many devs feeling as if they can't make anything else without these tutorials. This is known as tutorial limbo, or tutorial hell, either one, and is something many experienced devs talk about. So today, I'm going to break down the pros and cons of using game dev tutorials and how to use them effectively so you can avoid the massive amount of confusion that many people struggle with when first starting out. So picture you, yes this little man is you. You want to make a video game because you've either just played something amazing or you think you can make buckets of money. Whatever your reason, you're now on the path to make a video game. You go on YouTube and search making a game tutorial and click the most popular video. Well this is great! You think to yourself as you dream of the expensive meals you'll buy once you become a successful game dev. But here's where the issue begins to arise. Making a game is hard work, but they got you just follow that handy tutorial. Surely you're ready to make anything you want now, except Wait, why can't I make the character move? I just made a whole game and I can't even get the character to move? What's wrong with me? Why can't I- If you felt like this person before, don't worry, because you're not alone. But I do want to help you understand why this happens and how to solve it. Section 2. There's no right way to make a game. A common trap that many fall into is that there's a set way to do anything in game dev. For example, someone might look up how to make a platformer and follow how the person does it in the video. This then shapes how the beginner formats their code, their mentality, and everything in between. So if they run into any other issues, they can only rely on what they learned from this one specific video. It's important to understand that this one video is how that person figured out how to make the platformer. But really all programming is in general is the idea of problem solving. You need to make a character move, right? You could make it so your character uses a state machine that helps run movement code, or you could just have it detect an input and increase a value. Both move your character technically and will most likely visually look the same too, but one is simply more refined than the other. Many beginners get strung up on making their code look as clean as possible, and while that is important in the long run, and I'm not encouraging you to write sloppy code, it ultimately creates more roadblocks for new developers because they worry about their code being too sloppy. Understanding that there are thousands of possibilities when programming will help you finish games much faster, but I can hear you saying it now. But actually, if I can't look at the tutorial, how am I supposed to make anything? And first of all, shut up. And second of all, I have a way to fix that. Section three, make what you know. Someone who just started cooking probably shouldn't be trying to make food with puffer fish because they'll have no clue what they're doing. Also, they'll like poison everyone and get arrested. Programming is the exact same way, without the threat of killing anyone, of course. Don't, don't kill anyone. Something I did when trying to get out of tutorial hell was only rely on the official Game Maker manual and forum posts to solve my issues. This approach helped me learn two things. One, making something with my own knowledge kind of sucks and is extremely hard, and having to learn how to properly problem solve is challenging but extremely rewarding. And two, making something that's truly yours is a feeling like no other. Is the product something to write home to mom about? No, not really but I can say I use nothing but my own knowledge to create something, and that's more than some people can say. If the idea of jumping headfirst into something scares you, then something that helped me was semi-following the tutorial you're watching. Name variables independent from the video and make tweaks that make your game unique in some way. Change the art, and maybe even attempt to adjust the mechanic that a tutorial gives you. The goal is to really attempt to understand everything you're copying. You wanna know what it means. Sure, you can write an if statement, but it's very important to understand why and how that works. Otherwise, how can you expect to make anything independent from tutorials? Of course, even with this advice, it can still be very difficult to know where to start and how to jump into a project without guidance, which leads us to our next section. I know, I know, you really wanna make your expensive Metroidvania that's gonna change the genre and make you a million dollars, but if you don't know what a variable is, chances are it's time to put that idea on the shelf. Just for now. When making little games before, I was so confident I could make anything that I tried to make a big project after a big project after a big project. Once I did my no tutorial project, I realized something that crushed me. I didn't even know how to make a character move. And that really put stuff into perspective for me. I couldn't even make a character move without relying on outside help, without relying on a video. And this was a much needed reality check that helped me humble myself and take the time to learn and understand how programming actually works. 
Something that helped me find what was simple to me was checking out Game Jam games on itch. I would look through small projects and determine if it was something I could slightly recreate or use as inspiration. If the idea seemed too hard without clear help, I would lower my standards and shrink the idea until it was something manageable. For Keep Moving, the game that was made with no tutorial, I knew that there were two things I could do without help, which was key binding and bullet spawning. This led me to have a character move without the help of a tutorial, and the bullet spawner allowed me to have a mechanic that made the game a little bit more fun. With these two aspects done, all that was left was to add some kind of challenge, which is in the form of bullet speed increasing as you earn more points. The game itself is extremely basic, and the art is simple, but the goal wasn't to make something groundbreaking. The goal was to simply make something at all. Now, listen, despite what the title may say, I still think if you're an absolute beginner, it's okay to watch tutorials for guidance as they can help you gain a better understanding of the problem solving that comes with development, as well as introduce you to an engine or different language. But at some point, you will notice the limitation these tutorials bring you, and that's when it's important to spread your wings and fly. Just like riding a bike, you can start with the training wheels, but after a while, you want to have more movability. For that to happen, you need to get ready to say bye to those training wheels. If you ever have any questions or simply want feedback, you can find me in my Discord down in the description below. I've been seeing some amazing music and game projects come out of that, and despite me being extremely busy, I have been paying attention, so please feel free to share. And thank you so much for watching. I want to give a huge shout out to Vanessa, Hannibal, and our two new patrons, Kalik and Jasmine, for supporting me and the channel. Your continued support helps me create more videos for everyone to enjoy. And if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like and subscribe or check out the Patreon as it helps out the channel immensely. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.